Well, hello, my friends. Delson, you can get up. Just don't come in the kitchen, okay? Anyways, um, so before we get started with the grocery haul, I just wanted to say some things. Um, if you guys watch my lives, you will know that on Wednesday, I was talking about how I didn't know how we were going to afford groceries because, um, If y'all don't know, we've been going through a lot of health things in our house that have taken a lot of money to pay for and we're still going through them and, um, anyways, um, I was complaining, uh, not complaining, I was just venting and, you know, letting out my emotions about the fact that I didn't know how we were going to afford groceries and as you will see in this grocery haul, there is a lot here and that is because... Most of my budgeting friends here are probably not going to be happy with this, but we deferred our car payment, which was what we had to pay with this week's check. Um, we deferred it to the end of our um, finance loan um, for many reasons. We have more doctor's appointments coming up that we're going to have to pay for, more tests. Um, also, so we could buy groceries. We also had to renew our tags. So we just deferred the car payment, and because of that, we decided there were some things, one, with all the health problems that have been going on, um, we wanted to give our kids a little bit of joy, so there is a little bit more junk here than usual, but and I know I don't have to justify this to anybody because it's my life, my house, my budget, my money, whatever, but um, also, um, we... I say stock up because stock up means different things to different people. Like some people, when they say we're stocking up, they buy 10 of an item or 10 of a few items. For us, it was more like just get things. One, we were out of a lot of things, paper towels, toilet paper, peanut butter, um, you know, things that you don't usually buy on a very regular basis, like not frequently. Um, and also um, like our snacks. Like, yes, I do buy snacks every week, but it's kind of like on a rotation. It's like every other week I buy chips, and then I buy, like, fruit snacks and things like that the other weeks. Um, but we just decided that because we deferred our car payment, and we did have a little, a smidge bit of extra money in the grocery budget, that some things we were going to stock up on, like we stocked up on some snacks, we stocked up on some cheeses, uh, we snack stocked up on some lunchy items, um, mainly for me because my kids will eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches every day if I let them. But like, I'm, I'm a stay-at-home mom, and so um, I, I got some lunchy things for me that I haven't bought in a while, um, and we did just, whatever, I just wanted to say that. Um, because I know some of you who watch my live and then watch this grocery haul are going to be like, this doesn't add up with what you said in your life. And I just wanted to say why. I'm just rambling now. I don't know why I feel the need to justify myself. I should just stop filming and refilm. But I'm not going to do that. So, there's that. Um, you're not going to see, in the, what you're not going to see in this haul is um, a case of water that we bought. I need to go over there and grab that bag that I forgot. Um, you're also not going to see I let Delson pick out a toy. It, it was a $4 monster truck that pops like the wheel. So it's like this big, but then the, the frame of the car pops up off the tires and makes it taller. Anyways, it was like $4 and then we got Luke out $1 Hot Wheel. And now some of y'all are going to be like, well, why didn't you get Katie anything? And that's because... Yes, her and Luca's birthdays are only four days apart, but one, we don't buy Luca toys very frequently. Nope, do not come in here. You do not. Okay. I don't know who that is. They can leave a message. Sorry, I was getting a phone call. Anyways, um, what was I going to say? I had to pause it because Delson was running through here. Anyways, um, what was I even saying? Oh, Katie didn't get anything because yes, her and Luca's birthdays are only four days apart. But one, I don't know if any of y'all have ever noticed this, but you can get pretty cheap toys for boys. 
But then when you look at the girl toys, not there is no boy or girl toys, but you know, like for my boys, they can find like between one and five dollar toys that they're into. But when it comes to stuff that like Katie's into and like your stereotypical girl toys, like there is no such thing as boy toys or girl toys in my house. You play with what you want to play with. But you know what I mean? Katie's into like the stereotypical girl stuff for the most part, like Barbies and baby dolls and cute little unicorny things and stuff, you know? Um, there's not a lot of that for cheap. And so just like on a regular grocery trip, we try to keep it, well, most of the time we try to keep it like limited to like a $1 Hot Wheel. But every now and again, we'll let Delson pick out something that's like three to $5, you know? Um, so on top of that, also, Katie's birthday is coming up in June, and so I did, I, I said I'm not going to get her anything because I don't want to not have anything to buy her for her birthday, so that is why Katie, why do I keep feeling the need to justify everything to you? I don't have to do that. Why am I doing that? Anyways, let's get into the grocery haul finally. I gotta go grab that real quick, so hold on. Okay, first things first, there's Mountain Dew there. Also, you'll notice my bucket for the game is not behind me. That's because um, transparency here, it's full of clean laundry that I have yet to fold. So we can't play the game. I'm still going to throw my crap, you guys. Like, that's just how I work. Um, it's just not going to be a game because there's no basket back there to catch it. Okay. So let's get started. First things first, toilet paper. I could have got a bigger thing of this, but we prefer the Angel Soft brand and they were out, so I just got a small, the smallest pack of this one that they had. This was only like seven bucks. And this will last us probably a month, depending on how frequently Luca gets in the bathroom when he's not supposed to be. Like, uh, we keep our bathroom door shut, but sometimes, like, when Katie or Delson comes out, they forget to shut the door, and then, you know, toddlers, they like to play with toilet paper. So, this should last us about a month, though. Um, I need to change the oil in my deep fryer. To be honest, it's needed to be changed for, like, a month now, and I kept forgetting to put this on the list, and I even forgot to put it on the list today, but I walked down that aisle and remembered that I needed to. So I got, you guys, this is doubled in price over the last year. Last year I could buy this big gallon jug for like four dollars and now it's like eight bucks but my deep fryer oil needs to be changed so I got that. Um, I finally got my Viva paper towels. They finally had them back in stock and I did just go ahead and grab the big one. This was like eleven or twelve dollars I think. This will last me probably about a month also. I know a lot of people prefer Bounty I hate bounty paper towels. I don't hate them. Like, they're better than, like, the really cheap $1 ones, but I don't know. They just don't seem to clean up a mess as good as these do. So, there's that. Also, I'm not going to throw these because I'm tired of my crackers being broken. We got some rich crackers. They're already open because we fed some to the kids in the grocery store. These are a good snack for me. My husband likes to eat these with tuna in his lunch as a snack. Um, the boys like to snack on them. Katie likes to snack on We all just like to snack on these. So I got these. I should have got a bigger box, but this is the only one they had, so that's what we got. Um, I didn't end up picking up some more cereal for my grandparents. I got two boxes of these. I give you the spiel every week. When I, or Every time I get these, I'm not going to do the spiel again. But in any way I can help my grandparents out because they are retired on a fixed income and with the price of groceries going up and the amount of money they receive not going up, um, you know, every little bit helps. I do have to go to, um, sorry, I had to pause it because I thought Delson was coming in here. Um, he doesn't, he's not dressed, so that's why I have to keep pausing it when he comes in here. I, why do I keep justifying myself? I must just want to talk because I just keep talking and here I am still rambling. Okay, anyways, back to what I was saying. There are a few things that my Walmart no longer carries that I have to go to a separate store for. Our in 
in the t so the Walmart we go to is in a town 10 miles away. Um, we do have a local grocery store here in town, but since Walmart is only 10 miles away, we choose to go to Walmart because a lot of things are half the price at Walmart than they are at our local grocery store. But there are some things that our Walmart no longer carries that I do have to go to our local grocery store for. Um, and one of those things is these refried beans that I make. Um, not these refried beans. These ranch-style pinto beans with jalapeno peppers that I make my refried beans with. I got four cans of these. They were a dollar a piece. At Walmart, when they did carry them, they were like 89 cents a piece. And I would imagine with... They haven't carried them in like two or three years. So I would imagine with inflation, they would probably still be a dollar at Walmart too. So I did get four cans of those at the local grocery store. Um, I guess I can show you what else I got at the other local grocery store. Um, and y'all have seen these before in my hauls that I get these at the local grocery store. The spicy jalapeno bean and cheese El Monterey chimichangas. My, my Walmart does not carry these anymore. The one that I go to on a regular basis, even the one I go to in the other direction that's like 30 minutes away, they also don't carry them. The closest Walmart that carries them to me is about an hour and a half away. Um, and these are like, I think the packs at my Walmart are like four-ish dollars and these are between five and six dollars at the local grocery store. So still not twice as much, but still, you know, that adds up. I did get two packs of those so that I could have them on stock. Um, and then my Walmart does carry these, but I didn't get them there. I wasn't thinking about it. My husband really likes vanilla Coke. Um, and we just get like one or two of these every now and then and keep them in the refrigerator. And then he'll put them in the freezer for an hour or two because he likes them kind of slushy. Oh, I forgot to tell him about these. These were on clearance for 50 cents in the local grocery store's Easter section there. Andy's Mint Cookie Crunch Snap Bars. I don't know. He likes mint chocolate. I thought he might like these, so I got two of them. They were only 50 cents. Normally a dollar. So, I'm going to pause this and go show him, because I forgot to tell him that I got them. So, I'll be right back. Okay. Now that that's taken care of. So, that's all I got at the local grocery store. Everything else that I've showed you so far, besides those last three bags, were from Walmart. Okay. As I said in the beginning, we needed peanut butter. Peanut butter is getting outrageous too. Like, I don't remember how much this cost. But I remember looking at the price and being like, for peanut I think this was like 10 bucks. But we buy the big jar because my kids like peanut butter toast. My husband likes to put peanut butter on some blueberry waffles. My kids like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I like to make peanut butter cookies. I like to make wackies or chocolate peanut butter no-bake cookies, whatever y'all call them in your area. So we buy the big one. Um, so, as y'all know, I like the Mega Goldfish, but my Walmart had the Cheddar Jalapeno, which I haven't seen yet, so I'm gonna try those. Um, we are doing garlic bread pizza this week for a dinner, a dinner so I got some pizza sauce. Um, we are also doing carne asada tacos this week. So uh, Zach needed some more of his salsa verde because the one we did have expired. And then I needed some more of my Taco Bell hot sauce. That's off of that bag. All right, let's see how many more times I can get interrupted while filming this. I got some onions because I was almost out of onions. This whole bag, if they don't ruin before, like, I, I used to be able to buy a bag of onions, and it would take me two months to go through them, and they would still be perfectly fine. But now it's like a week after I buy them, they're like rotting. So hopefully these will last a little while. Um, let's see, what else do we have over here? What's in this bag? We have taco seasoning because we're also going to do nachos this week and we might do it with leftover carne asada I don't know I just got this just in case I needed to um, we're basically gonna make nachos but we're gonna make them 
on french fries instead of tortilla chips so nacho fries but not like taco bell nacho fries anyways so i got some taco seasoning in case there's not enough leftover carne asada i can make taco meat um also au jus because we planned on doing hot sandwiches but my walmart was out of all the deli meat so i have to go back to town on Sunday or Monday anyway, so maybe they'll have some more in stock, or maybe I'll just have to go to a different store and get some, like our local grocery store, I don't know. Anyways, there's that. Um, and then some Spanish rice to go with our carne asada tacos. Um, also, I got some marble bread, marble loaf cake, whatever they call this, I call it bread. They call it cake. Anyways, got some of this because, well, I broke one of the cardinal rules and went grocery shopping hungry, and that looked delicious. So, my husband also picked up the lemon loaf cake. He really likes that, so he got that. Um, so, like I said, we were stocking up on some like treats and snacks and things. So my husband got the lemon Oreos. He really likes lemon Oreos. So yeah, I like the lemon Oreos too. Just not in milk. Don't don't put your lemon Oreos in milk. Um, I don't usually buy a lot of fruit unless my kid specifically asks for it because it'll go to waste. But I want to see, like, are these bananas? Like, not super tiny. Like, look. This is my hand. Like, I feel like these bananas are extra small. Anyways, but that's all my store had. Um, I want to see if Luca will eat some. And, like, look. How is this banana green? But also rotting? Like, that's how all of them looked. I don't... I'm confused. Anyways. Dawson said he wanted some bananas. So, I was only going to get, like, one or two. But then Zach said... Just get a whole bushel. We can. We're gonna try and see if Luca will eat one, and Zach will eat some. Katie will eat some, and Delson wanted some. So, I got. And then we're like, they're like, what are they at my store right now? Seventy cents a pound or something like that. So, whatever. It, it'll be fine. Um, I'm gonna try and save the non-foods, the stuff that's not food, for the last. Um, these. My husband really likes these. Um. And we are out. I think I bought them two. We're almost out. I think I bought them two or three weeks ago and we're almost out. So I just got another bag. And actually, I don't think I had ever eaten these, but I tried some the other day when he was eating a bowl before bed. They're actually pretty good. Highly recommend. I've realized I'm not throwing anything, but we haven't really come across anything I can throw lately. So. Um. We've got garlic bread for the garlic bread pizza. I, holy cow, this is, this is doubled in price just in the last six months. This loaf of garlic bread used to be a dollar. It is now two sixteen. I did not realize that in the store. If I had realized that in the store, I would have just bought a $1 loaf of French bread and made my own garlic bread, but it is what it is. So we got that. Hoagie buns. For those hot sandwiches we may or may not actually get to have this week if we don't i will just throw these in the freezer and they will be fine um also tic tacs like i probably eat way too many of these a day but it is what it is um we needed a loaf of bread Like I said, we were stocking up on a lot of snacks, so Zach got these, um, mainly to put in his lunches that he takes to work. Um, you'll notice I didn't get anything for him for his lunch for work. That's because before we go gro grocery shopping, again, he only works one day, so his schedule is one week, he'll work three days, and those three days will be Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, and on that those weeks we go grocery shopping on Thursday. And so then the next week, he'll work four days, and that will be Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. And on that week, we go grocery shopping on Friday. So today, we went grocery shopping on Friday. So it was his 
four day week this week. Next week is his three day week. And so the only time he will work before we go grocery shopping again is Tuesday. So he's just going to take either a turkey sandwich. I have turkey in the, in the refrigerator or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or two. And so we got him some chippies. He picked these out. Um, salt and vinegar is one of his favorite kinds of chips. We also got some Chex Mix Bold. And we also got some Gardettos. And you may be asking, why did you get these if you got these? The rye chips and then the Chex Mix that has the rye chips. Well, I don't know if y'all have ever bought Chex Mix, but the rye chips are the best part. And there's only like five in this whole bag. So we get both so we can kind of mix them together for a better ratio. Um, and like I said, we're just stocking up on some snacks. So that, that way, you know, in the next few weeks, we don't have to buy so many snacks. We will still have to buy snacks, obviously for the kids. And obviously with summer coming up, Katie's going to be home more often. And that is another reason why we deferred the payment because of the health issues. Katie has been home a lot more, which means snacks have been gone through a lot quicker. Lunch stuff has been gone through a lot quicker. Um, so yeah, anyways. Um, this got my husband in the, um, checkout aisle. Wrap snacks. This is Rick Ross sweet chili lemon pepper flavored potato chips. I don't know. He's gonna try them. The goal is to be rich forever. Cool. It's not my goal, but cool. Katie's favorite right now is barbecue chips. Her favorite chip right now is barbecue chips, and she just finished off the bag for the most part yesterday. So I got some more. I also like barbecue chips. Um, but I'm like a only eat chips when I'm in the mood to eat chips type of person. Like it's not like my go-to snack. Um, and then Zach picked these out for Luca, the chocolate animal crackers. They'll all share them. I'm sure I'll eat some, Zach will eat some, but he picked these thinking of Luca. I should have moved these back closer. Okay. Um, Delson picked these out for them to have as a snack. As y'all know, these are my favorite Cheez-Its, the extra big. He did want to get the hot and spicy, but I told him, I, um, because Luca also eats these, loves Cheez-Its, that um, next time he could get the hot and spicy, but this time we were going to get some that everybody would enjoy. Um, Zach and Delson decided we needed some ding-dongs for a treat, so we got some ding-dongs. Um, I just got a small thing of Luca's chocolate chip Cliff Kids Z-Bars. Um, he hasn't been eating these as much because I have been... So as you know, if you've been watching, up until recently, my thought process has been... My thought process has been try to get him to eat. If he doesn't eat, just give him something he will eat so he's eating. But he is fixing to be two. And whether you agree or not, fun thing about that is he's my kid. So, unless I'm putting him in hard keeps away, I do what I think is best for him. You do what you think is best for your kids. Anyways, he is fixing to be two, so we are starting to go down the path of you either eat what we're having for dinner or you don't eat, which is two is when we started that on both of our other kids. Um, and I'm also forcing him to sit down. So, every now and then we all eat dinner at the kitchen table as a family, but my husband doesn't get home till after 5 30 and then he showers and then usually he doesn't like to eat as soon as he gets home so he's not ready to eat until seven and i have school age kids so they usually eat before him and so i used to not make lucas sit down to eat dinner i would just like put it on the ta on the coffee table and let him eat it as he was running around i have also decided that he will now start sitting down to eat and so hopefully that'll help but i did get these for like when we're on the go for a snack for him or like if we're going to doctor's appointments and he has to sit in the car with Zach or if like we have to run to the store for something and I'm just running in, he likes to scream if I'm not in the car with him. So get, having a snack for him helps keep him calm. So I got some of these. And yes, I did it, you guys. I let Delson get cookie pop tarts again this week because like I said, with all the crap that my family is going through right now they need some joy and this is his joy so 
it is what it is. Like I said, I do what I want to do with my kids. You do what you want to do with your kids. And we'll just support each other, okay? Also, another thing that Delson picked that's going to bring him joy that, hey, I'm not complaining about it because I'm pretty excited about it, too. Oreo mousse dessert. Says it expires tomorrow. Tomorrow's the 30th, right? Yeah. So, we'll have to eat this, like, today. But I'm pretty excited about it, too. We saw it. He wanted to try it. I thought it looked interesting and fun. I don't even know how much it cost. You guys, come for me if you want to. I really don't care. Give me all your judgment if you want to. Say what you want. I don't care. Listen, my kids deserve some enjoyment. I forgot this bag of non-cold stuff. We got some Nutella because I'll tell you what my husband likes to do. He likes to take blueberry waffles. Cook them. Put a little bit of Nutella on them while they're still warm and then put some peanut butter on them while they're still warm. And sometimes he likes to make it into a sandwich. Sometimes he likes to eat it separately. They didn't have anything smaller than this big giant thing of Nutella. So this is what we got. And I'll probably be making Nutella brownies with these, but we'll see. Um, I got some nacho cheese. Because I wasn't sure if with the... I shouldn't call them nacho fries. Let's call them taco fries. The taco fries I was going to make. I wasn't sure if I wanted nacho cheese or shredded cheese. This was only like a dollar... So, if I decide not to use it, I'll just put it in my cabinet and let's see, when does it expire? It expires in May of 2023. So, I'm sure if we don't use it for the taco fries, that it'll get used sometime before it expires. And then Zach got two more of his purple body armors, um, the strawberry grape, Mamba Forever, I just, I just realized I'm not hardly throwing anything, but that's because I didn't get a lot of stuff that I could actually throw. All right, let's get into the cold stuff. Well, first, let's do produce. Roma tomatoes to make guacamole. I'm not going to throw those because I don't want them to, like, you know, get bad. Cilantro for the tacos, the guacamole, pinko de gallo. Avocados. Two or three of these will be used for making actual guacamole, and these need to be left out. I need to actually. There's this one right here probably needs to be taken out and kept in the fridge because it's pretty soft. But these other ones are all pretty hard, so they're going to need to stay out on the counter and ripen over the next few days until we're ready to use them. Limes. Also for the guacamole and pico de gallo and tacos. And asparagus, because I'm also going to make crockpot ribs that have been on my meal plan for three weeks now. Um, and talk the boys, because Delson and Zach love asparagus. They're the only ones in our house that do, but I thought they would enjoy having some asparagus with that. The rest of us are going to have baked beans, and we're also going to have macaroni and cheese. They will also have macaroni and cheese, and Zach may eat baked beans. Delson does not like beans, so since he's going to be eating the asparagus, I'm not going to force him to eat the beans. It's just... How we do it in our house. Um, mozzarella cheese for the garlic uh, bread pasta. Kobe Jack for the sandwiches. Pepper Jack for sandwiches. This is another thing we stocked up on. I have been buying the smaller bags because, well, because the big bags are getting ridiculous. But we do go through a lot of shredded cheese, so I got the big bag again this time. Uh, this will be for tacos. I make cheese roll-ups. I make cheese fries. Nachos. Taco fries. Literally anything. Um, that got some more cheese sticks. He's been liking taking these in his lunch. Sour cream. I think this is the longest grocery haul I've ever filmed. You guys. Back on the lunch train, I got me some buffalo style chicken wings for a quick lunch. We got some pepperoni for the garlic bread pizza. I went ahead and got three pounds of ground beef, even though I only need one for the taco. Well, I might not need any, but I most likely will need one. Oh, this doesn't expire till May 14th. I can keep this in my refrigerator for a little while until I have to cut it up um, and then I will know by then whether I need it and then I can you know, store it 
as needed. But um, I got three pounds even though I only needed one. This was part of my stock up. I know it's only two extra pounds than what I need, but having two extra pounds than you need is better than having no extra pounds. So there's that. I only bought the littlest bag of pizza rolls I could get because Delson has been back on his kick of only wanting to eat pizza rolls for lunch again and we don't want him to stay on that. We want him to, especially since he's getting ready to go to school in August, we want him to diversify his lunch palate. So I only got the small bag of pizza rolls. Um, they haven't been having my seasoned great value fries and I've been buying these and these are actually pretty good. It, when they do get my regular fries I buy back in stock, I will switch back to those because they are significantly cheaper. It's like $3 for this size bag of the great value ones and this bag is $6. But while I don't have it, these are actually pretty good so highly recommend this is what we'll be using for our packet fries. Um, and, okay, so, this next item I'm, I'm, I'm about to show you, Delson saw it at Walmart, like, a month ago, and we've been telling him, next time, buddy, next time, buddy, next time, buddy, next time, buddy, next time, next time, next time, next time, every time he sees it. Well, since we had a little bit of extra money, we went ahead and got it. It's a s'mores pizza. Uh, that's the only explanation I have for you. Um, as y'all saw in my grocery haul I uploaded today, but for you will probably be tomorrow or Friday, which was from last time I went grocery shopping because I haven't been in, uh, my brain just doesn't work and so I kept forgetting to post it. Anyways, um, I got chocolate chip waffles. Was that last grocery haul or the one before? I can't remember. Anyways, Luca and Delson prefer chocolate chip waffles, so I got those. But Del, uh, uh. Zach likes the blueberry for his Nutella and peanut butter, so I just got some blueberry ones. I could have very well gotten a smaller box, but like I said, we're trying to stock up a little bit on some things, so there's that. We also got a gallon of whole milk and a gallon of 1% milk. Um, I have a question. So a lot of people have been recommending that for our milk we go about 20 minutes away to a town that has a small Walmart where the milk is about half the price. Do y'all think it's worth it to drive that far every week? I mean, we could do the rest of our grocery shopping there too, but do you think it's worth it to drive that far just to go to Walmart just because the milk is like half the price? Like these gallons of milk I think are like four or five dollars and I think at that Walmart they're like two dollars is what we've been told so my question for you is would you drive that far to go grocery shopping every week if that was the case I mean, all right let's get into the non-grocery items katie's been having strep and the kids toothbrushes have been co-mingling and if you don't know anything about strep after three days of being on antibiotics you have to change a toothbrush so I had to get more toothbrushes and usually I buy my kids fun toothbrushes with characters they like on them but until we get the strep issue resolved she's had strep three times in 60 days and we'll probably be probably continue on that path until we see the ENT and get her tonsils out so until then we're just buying cheap toothbrushes for everybody because I can't be I can't afford to spend three to five dollars per toothbrush um, every two to three weeks like that's outrageous so we just I think this whole pack was like two bucks so they're just gonna have to deal with the not so fun toothbrushes gloves for washing dishes this is the packaging this is the Hot Wheel Luca picked yes he picked it I showed him a bunch of different ones this is the one he picked um, it's not in here obviously because we took it out and gave it to him in the store so he would stop screaming um, and then I decided to treat myself. I usually do not, so you guys know, my nails are painted and they don't hold on to nail polish. Even if I buff them to put the nail polish on, like this one completely came off. This one's already coming off and I just painted them like three days ago. Anyways, and I, so I prefer to do the glue on ones. Um, but usually I won't spend more than like $3 on a set. But today I decided 
my husband told me to treat yourself. So that's what I did. And I chose these. They were only like five bucks, only $2 more than what I usually would spend. But I liked them. I thought they were cute. We're going to try them. Not really my normal aesthetic. Usually I prefer either a very, um, I don't like the pointy. I prefer like, you see the arch of that black that's how i usually prefer them shaped or square so we'll see also i need a nail polish remover to take this fingernail polish off and then hubby has been eyeing this pair of shorts at walmart for like a year now and every time we go they never have his size um but they had his size this time and they were only 10 bucks so we got them all right, this is the longest grocery haul I've ever filmed in my whole life. Would you guys like to see what it looks like in here? There you go. That's what it looks like in here currently. I'm not going to show you my countertops because, oh, sure, why not? This is what my kitchen currently looks like. I need to clean it because pest control is coming tomorrow. So that's what I plan on doing as soon as I end this video is cleaning up in here, cleaning up my living room. I need to at least clean up the kids' bathroom. Uh and probably my bathroom and bedroom because we have been seeing not a lot of ants but just like randomly we'll see like three or four ants in the kitchen or on the couch in the living room or in the kids bathroom or in our bathroom so usually we don't have them come inside the spray because usually the barrier they do around the outside helps and we don't get spiders ants or any fleas or anything like that in our house but it hasn't been working for ants so we're gonna have them come in and spray this time so I need to get that done all right I don't know why this grocery haul is so long I am so sorry you guys I hope you stuck around to watch the whole thing I was super rambly but I love you I'm praying for you and I'll see you guys next time bye